Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. So today I am back with one new concept in cell scripting. That is what is service in cell scripting. And then we will create a cell script which will help us to monitor our disk system continuously. So first let us understand what is service in Linux. So in the easy term if I explain a service is a program or application in Linux that runs or expects to run in the background. That is, it is running without the need for the user to be aware of it all the time. So what exactly I mean by this? That a service is a program which always runs in the background. You have to configure the service once and after that you don't have to worry about it. It will keep running lifetime in the backend. So now when you create a service, few points which you need to be aware. Like the service contains unit, load, active, sub, description. So unit section means the name of service. What exactly is the name of service? Load means to know if it is loaded in the memory. Active is it's either active, reloading, inactive, failed, activating or deactivating. These are different states of your service. Sub is a state of activation can be one of the following like dead, closed, failed, inactive or running. And description is brief description of the service, what exactly your service is going to do. Now the unit section consists of description, documentation, details, etc. So service sections define the service type, username, group, what to do in failure, restart timeout the main is execute a start exec a start which says to a start our script file you can also define execute a start pre to define anything before the actual script file syslog identifier is the keyword to identify our service in syslog similarly execute a stop is the instruction to say what to do to stop the service an install section is used to define different levels of target in the system. So that's it about the basic concepts of service. Now let us go to our system and understand how to write a cell script for disk space checking and then how to create a service which is going to monitor our disk system continuously. So First, let us see how our disk usage script is going to be written. So, the first line I am going to have is cbang line. Then one comment I have added. The comment is a script check file system utilization every 120 seconds and store in a file. So, the comment is saying that every 120 seconds our script is going to run and it is going to store the output into a file. So, we, we have seen if else condition. Similar way, we have a condition called while, then the name of conditions, do, and to close it is done. So, what we are telling here, while true. While true means this is infinite loop. Like this is going to run lifetime, always. And then we are starting the while condition with do. And in the do, we are telling date. And we are redirecting the output of date to a file called where log fsmonitor.txt file. And then we are running sudo df-h. So df-h is the command to check the disk free in your system. And which sudo command you are running to make sure that everything is working or df command is working perfectly. And the output of this df-h command we are again redirecting to the fsmonitor.txt file. And then we are sleeping for 120 seconds and then we are closing the loop. So what do you mean by sleep 120 means this script will run every 120 seconds means every two minutes this is going to run and this is going to update the date in the file and then update the df-h command into this file. So this is very simple cell script which is going to monitor our disk space and store it into a file. Now this script if you run it will run once and then it will close. It will run once and then it's done. But my purpose is to schedule this script which can run 
for lifetime in form of a service. So now let us see how we can create a service. So now to create a service, I am just going to this file slash etc systemd system. In this location, you keep all your service generally. So I am going to etc systemd system and there I am creating a service name fs-monitor.service. Here any name you can give as per your choice. I am giving this name for this service. So now, as I told in the unit section, I am giving the description. So what is description? The description you can give like file system, monitoring service or anything which you feel relevant related to your service. Documentation, if your service, you want to attach some documentation. Here I have attached the DevOps take a stack dot com means some um, our uh, website details. Now the main section is here service. So type I am telling it simple, user is which user has to run, root user, group is root user, timeout, start seconds is 0, restart on failure, restart second is 30 seconds. The most important line is this execute start. So this line is actually going to run your script. So what I am telling in execute start is equal to and our script path. So home vagrant and then disk monitor dot sh. So this is actually our cell script. So execute start command is going to run this script. And then in syslog identifier, we are telling that this disk utilization should be the syslog identifier. And then wanted by multi-target systems uh, this in the installed section so other things are the default sections you don't have to worry much only the description part and documentation part you can update the links here and then in the execute start this is the most important command where you have to give the actual command which you want to run so now the content of our service file is ready now let us save the content and then let us so now this content is saved. Now you can do system CTL status and your service file name fs hyphen monitor dot service. So this right now I have started it. So it's in the running state. But once you create initially, it will be in the dead state. So what you have to do, you have to just start it. So system CTL status right now you can see it's in the running state. But you if you want to stop, you can do systemctl stop the service name and then clear the screen. And now you can again start the service. So systemctl start fsmonitor.service and check status again. So you can see service is now running from last two seconds. Now you can see here the documentation link is updated here the actual script which it is running that is coming and which user is running all the details are here and you can see it's active and running now what we told in this script that store the login where log um, fs monitor so just open slash slash where slash log slash fs monitor dot text file so if you see now this script is running and with the first it is updating the date and time stamp and then it's giving the disk utilization. So every 120 seconds this file is going to be updated and you will see a new line with the new date and time is updated to this file. And this service is going to run for lifetime till the time I am stopping it or there is some problem in my system or system is crashing. So this way you can create any service in your infrastructure and you can run it in the back end. So this service is really going to be very useful tool in your infrastructure to run something in the background continuously. I think now you guys are more clear with the concepts. Let me know if anything which is still not clear to you. Thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time.